No way, dude! Treasure! He's a snake. <laughs> it's because I love this shit. Oh. Ah! No. This is so epic. Just got off. What's going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We are out in remote, remote Australia right now. Today is going to be a sick one. What we're doing is we're exploring this untouched part of the coastline. I want to see if I can get a fish in, start a fire, cook a feed. I've got no idea where today's going to take us, but I tell you what, it is going to be a sick one. Have a go at what's on the track right here. This is the way to start a day. Check this out. Check this out. Look at this, look at this. Welcome to remote Australia. That right there is a venomous snake. If that thing touches you, you're gone. Look at him, beautiful. Woohoo! So a lot of these tracks which we're gonna be driving on today, they haven't been driven on in years. We've heard a couple of yarns from the old boys that if you can get your car down to the beach, you're never getting your car back. Big swells, big tides come up and just eat cars to death around here. They reckon the beaches are super soft, very, very boggy, and we're out here solo right now. Mac 10's behind the camera. It's just me, Mac 10, and the troop dog out here, so um, we'll see where today takes us. But we've heard some pretty bad stories about cars getting stuck and swallowed by the ocean, so it's gonna be bloody interesting. Well, I suppose this is what they're talking about down here. If you look at this, this track just comes to an end and that is super flowery sand. Like I am driving into that. That is big sand dunes. Looks like that just goes down to the coast there. This is what we want to do today. We want to get down to the coast, but we're just going to keep having problems like this. That sand looks super flowery. Let's get out and have a look. Oh, have a look at this. This looks so sick. Big sand dunes just cascade down to the ocean over there. The ocean's quite a whack away still. This sand here is super flowery. If we were to drive the troop here on this stuff, I reckon we'd just about sink. It's super flowery. Going down isn't going to be the issue. Coming back up, that is going to be an issue. We're solo out here right now. But what we really want to do is get down to the coast, start a fire, catch a slob of a fish, chuck it on the fire, have some lunch. That's the goal, but we need to get our way down there. That's the problem. But look at this, man. This is absolute paradise. starting to get pretty deep. We've got a little bit of a hill coming up here. This is gonna get hectic. It's up there, baby, up there, baby. I don't even know what's on the other side. Oh, we just made... Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good. Don't go down there. All right, this is way too much fun. So what we've been doing is we've been following these quad tracks along the coast. And we ended up getting, like the, the tracks become so narrow, we literally nearly tipped the troop here on the side. So we've peeled back to one of the main tracks. Now we've found this big, juicy, rocky canyon. We want to get to the bottom of the rocky canyon down there. All we want to do is just wet a line, catch a fish, have a fire, and have a feed. First things first, we're going to get down here, and we're going to see if we can make our way down to the coast. The flies are coming out, they're super thick, but that looks magic down there. We're just going to drive down this rocky crop here. Uh, we're nearly at the bottom of this little rock climb and I can taste fresh fish on the fire. It's so close to the bottom. Funny thing is we're going to have to get back up that hill. And there was two little bits that were pretty sketchy on that little hill climb then, but 
I don't know. Let's see how we go getting back up. It's going to be a full dip lock, dip lock mission, I reckon. A couple of meters away from the bottom. But right now, Mac 10 is squished up in the back of the troopy. She reckons she's getting the shot. <laughs> but have a look at this. We've made it down that big cliff, and the water out here looks so bloody good. Big rock formation up, up, in, up ahead of us there. Could be oysters. Look at the waves down there. Pumping waves. Oh, this is it, man. This is so sick. I think we've got a bit more to explore up the coast here, but man, this is what it's all about. Look at that. That looks so good. Oh, oysters, maybe? Possible oyster feed. Fly. All right, the flies are coming out to play. And we have come to the end of the road. There's a little bit of a track here leading down to the coast, but it looks super sketchy. There's no way they're going to get down there. So we're just going to park the troopy up here, setting up a fishing rod. We're going to punch out there, walk down there on foot, see if we can get ourselves a feed. Oysters, fish, start a fire. It's going to be a bloody good afternoon if that all goes to plan. But usually, none of thing goes to plan out here. All right, we've got everything we need for a bloody good day. Fishing rod, backpack, Leatherman, hunting knife, Let's go and see if we can get ourselves a little bit of food. Look at this down here. This looks absolutely incredible. Big fringing reef, drops off into deep water. There's a lot of swell smashing up against the reef, but it looks really, really good. The flies are out to play. It's bloody hot out here, and we have got a really, really good fishing set up in front of us, and a pumping wave. Look at that. <laughs> That way, that left hander is firing. No one around. Ah. Yeah! That is a natural waterfall. That's so sick. There is so much water pushing off that top ledge, coming down to this little bottom one here. What? All right, there is absolutely no oysters here whatsoever. We can't find any oysters. This is a super, super sketchy place to fish out here. Big waves are crashing against the reef, but every now and then you get a little bit of a lull. So when we get them lulls, I'm going to run out. I'm going to piff this Ocean Legacy lure out there, see if we can get a fish on the deck. Very risky. Mac 10's going to stay up here on the beach. I'm going to run out there, run back, run in, run out, see if we can get a fish on the deck. Ow! Snap my ankle. Hectic. Looks really good. Come on, we gotta get a fish up here. Hey! Ha! Hey! Look at that, you die. Big swell. Let's go, let's go. Hey! Woo! Say! Hey! We have fish on, we got waves crashing everywhere. Get him up, get him up. I've just got to get this fish up. Come on, you big dog, get up here. Ah! No! No! It just got off. You're joking. There's fish there, there's fish there. There are fish there. Come on. The, the wind's picking up, the swell is getting hectic. I need a fish on the deck. Come on, come on. I know there's fish there. I just lost one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, yes, that's fish on. No, 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 no. All right, there's fish there. Now I'm stuck on the reef. We've got big waves coming. I've been fishing for about 15 minutes. A big bunch of fish come in. One of them nailed that lure. Had the fish up on the rocks, spat the hook, the wave took the fish away. And then the lure got stuck in the danger zone, man. That lure was stuck in a place where I was not going to get it. Had to snap the line. Ah! I'm gonna retie, get back out there, see if we can get a fish on the deck. Oh, we just lost our lunch. Spewing. All right, this is gonna be a little bit of fun. On my walk back just then, I found this busted ass old metal lure sitting on the reef there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to sharpen up the hooks because they're pretty manky. I'm just going to give these hooks a little bit of a loving. We're going to get back out there and see if we can get one of these fish on a lure that I just found on the rocks here. Right, you bastard, I'm coming back for you. Let's go. We've got to get a fish on the deck now. I can taste it. Hey! Whoo! Whoa! All right, this is starting to get really hectic out here. We've got waves coming all the way back up there, then backwashing out. And I'm standing on the edge out there. I'm going to get flogged in a minute. This is deadly. Oh, all this for a little bit of grub. <laughs> Come on, we just got to get one fish on the deck. How hard is it, man? There's a big patch of tailor out the back there before. Now they're real hard to get. Oh, look at this one coming out the back. Big swell. If a big wave comes in right now, I'm trapped on this rock ledge here. I've walked right up the coast. Do not want to be getting trapped here. That's a big wave. Oh shit, that's big. Wait, 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 big boy. This is getting hectic out here. <laughs> oh shit. These waves are building up big time. Come on, we just need one fish. And it is in the real danger zone. Stay on, stay on you bastard. You stay on that hook. Oh no, it's right in the danger zone right now. Get up, 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 get up. No! You're joking! That's another one we just lost. This is not happening right now. There's fish there, there's definitely fish there. We've got to beat these waves, man. Come on, come on, come on. What is happening? That's the second one we've lost. Ah! absolute ass handed to me out there. I'm getting flogged by waves. The southerly wind is picked up like you wouldn't believe. It is howling from the south. So every time I cast a lure, the lure is just getting sent to the right. It's horrible. But I've got an idea. We've lost two fish. It's basically unfishable around the corner there. The swell's building like you wouldn't believe. I've got an idea. We're gonna put our survival skills into play right now. We're gonna eat something very beautiful around the fire, but first things first, we gotta get a fire and we gotta go get a little bit of different food. Let's go! Just because we didn't get a fish doesn't mean we're not gonna have one hell of a feed out here in the bush. If you know what you're looking for, you will always find grub out here in Australia. I'll show you the first thing you can eat. These walls are loaded with snails. Most of them are edible. So a little snail like that there is a beautiful little feed when you're out here in the bush. That's an edible snail. We've eaten quite a few of these on the channel, but this, this is not why we're out here. We'll keep punching up here. There is a beautiful treat just up here around the corner. Put this little fella back in his hole. All right, so all these little black dots that you can see down here, these are sea urchins. You've just got to be very, very cautious right now because our backs are to the ocean and the swell is building and it's hectic. But look at this. Wait, wait. The camera woman, aka Mac 10, nearly got knocked by a wave. The sea urchins are right on the back of that ledge there. We've got a building swell right now. That's why it was so hard to fish and um, it's just too dangerous for her out there. So I'm going to run out there, I'm going to go gather a feed, I'll come back in and I'll show you what they are. They're a beautiful little thing. Now here is a delicious little treat straight from the ocean floor. This is known as a sea urchin. They may not look too appetizing, but I'm telling you right now, this thing is bloody beautiful. I got these weird little spikes on the outside. You get them in your fingers or your feet, you will know all about it. They're extremely hard to get out. They're brittle, they snap off. But the meat that's inside here is so bloody tasty. What we're gonna do is we'll whack it down here on the rocks, we'll crack him open and we'll have a feed. Weird busted ass looking little thing, eh? Look at that. But they taste pretty good. So we've just popped this urchin open and that orange stuff that's inside there, that is what you want to be eating. It is, it's like a creamy, extra, extra fishy, creamy taste. I know it's hard to explain how it tastes, but it's good. Look at this. It's like little, little sheets of snot. That there is like the butter of the ocean. 
super creamy. It's, it's almost just like a butter fish flavor. Really, 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 really good. It's obviously not going to fill you up, but just, it's just a nice little flavor bomb. We've eaten nothing all day, so this is the first little bit of a flavor bomb. Very hard to describe how that tastes. Looks like a booger. Very, very buttery. Beautiful, beautiful fishy. I don't know. I, I love it. And look at this. There is no shortage of it. That's full. That side's full. Not bloody bad. All right, now that we've had a little bit of sea urchin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up a main course. And this is what I'm excited about. It is gonna taste so good. That's a goer. So while we're cooking on this fire, I'm just gonna use a stick. I'm just gonna sharpen the end of a stick here. And we're basically just gonna sit it over the fire like that. Woo! That is putting out some heat. It's gotta get a nice sharp edge on this stick first. Have a go at this fresh fish. Doesn't come much fresher than this. Although, it was not caught in this episode. You're probably wondering to yourself, Field Day, where the hell did you get this fish from? So this is caught two or three days ago. Mac 10 just said to me then, don't you have fish in the freezer? And I'm like, that's the best. I just legged it up to the car, come back down. We have these juicy little fillets of fish here. We're gonna cook these over the fire. I, I know that I didn't catch this fish in the episode, but I said this morning I wanna cook fish around the fire and once I get something in my head, it sticks like glue. So that's what we're doing. We're still gonna cook fish around the fire. The flies, man, these flies are thick, dude. I'm just gonna use that stick, stab these chunks of fish on and cook them over the fire like that. It really doesn't come any more primitive than this. I'm just gonna stick little chunks of fish straight onto this sharpened up stick and just wave them over the top of the fire. This is honestly like what gets me going in life is just doing things like this in the bush. Super fun. Look at that. I'm just gonna hang that over the fire. It's gonna be good. Now here's a little camping trick for you. If you've ever got like marshmallows or you're gonna be cooking fish like this or cooking anything like this, it's extremely hard to hold it close to the fire. This little baby fire is punching out some serious heat right now. So what you can do is you get a stick with a V in the end of it. All you do, bury her into the sand. This little fella here sits on that stick. Then you get another stick going the opposite way of that other stick. And the two pressures, bury him a bit more. The two pressures counteract with each other and you don't have to hold your bloody food. That's cooking down there and my fingers aren't getting burnt. So actually a really, really easy way to cook food. You don't even have to do anything. <laughs> this is looking so good. You could quite easily, if you were stuck out here like Fort Fair Income, like proper stuck, you'd be able to easily survive the amount of snails, sea urchins, crabs that are around here. You'd be able to survive for days out here. I don't know about water, but food, you wouldn't have a problem whatsoever. We lost two fish today. I probably would have fished for about two hours, and we lost two fish in two hours. Pretty hard going. As soon as that wind came in, it kind of stuffed us up. That's why we're eating fish out of the freezer. A little bit of fun. But honestly, if you're out here, you could definitely gather yourself up a fair bit of food. I can still taste that beautiful buttery sea urchin in my mouth right now. I can't wait to eat this. I'm starving. Oy. All right, that is round two on the fish skewer. It actually works so good. This is the one that we've cooked already. This is what I'm gonna eat now. First thing to eat the entire day. Oh, except for that delicious little treat over the back there. This is gonna be real good. But we have a secret little thing. Check this out. Ah, it's a game changer. Oh, it's not often that we've got lemon out here, but today's a special day. <laughs> Look at this fish skewer. I'm gonna dribble lemon all over that fish. Oh, good lemon. Good lemon, Mac 10. Oh yeah, look at that. Have a go. Oh. Probably tastes better than the two fish that I lost. Because this is a Wahoo. And those fish were Taylor. Oh, how good's lemon juice? I reckon I say just about in every episode how good food tastes. 
That probably doesn't look too appetising, but honestly, like we've eaten nothing the entire day. Sun's not too fast setting, so anything tastes good, but fish, fresh fish like that drowned in lemon. It's honestly bloody good. This is Mac. This is the camera girl's stick here. Getting all ready, cooked up. Seriously, simple pleasures, eh? So good. That was an epic little feed around the fire. Mac 10 had a little fish skewer, I had a little fish skewer, a couple of little creepy crawlies down there around the back. That was a super fun day. We're gonna jump back in the troopy now. We're gonna try to scale up that big rocky hill we came down. And um, we're gonna love his and leave his. Remember doggies, life is for living. Don't take it too seriously, just have fun. That's what it's all about. If you like this video, make sure you smash, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you in the next one. Mwah! Much love doggies. Hoo! All right, now we're walking up this busted ass hill, all the way down there. We're gonna go all the way up there, still sweating bullets now. Mac 10's been carrying this camera around the entire day. Now she's carrying my fishing rod up the hill. What a champion. How was your day anyway, mate? Good? Oh, you do is scream all day. Well, that's what everyone says in the comment section. All you do is scream. It's because I love this shit. Yeah, doggies. See you in the next video. Mwah.